Hey guys, it's me again. Bounce that ass and drop that ass and pop it like a shootout. I pull them panties down, he's smiling like they bought the food out. I hop up on their face and make my hips go like a luau. I showed you I'm a gangster. Today I'm going kind of like a different type of video, but not really because first I'm going to show you guys our whole fall collection that was released October 9th. The collection is still available. Um, it's selling pretty good, but I hope that it sells out by the end of November because I do want to have new stuff for Christmas. So I don't want to have like so much old inventory. So I'm hoping that most of my products sell out before the new year, you know? And then secondly, I'm going to talk about like my business, things that are changing and you know, stuff like that. And just give kind of like advice, like stuff that I learned because yesterday, October 25th, was our one year anniversary so yesterday we had a big sale and the sale did good so i will do another video packing up all the orders and stuff like that so i'm really thankful that my business is officially one year old or one years old i don't know if you say one year because you're only one two one years but yeah you know my business is officially one year old so like i started this business last year october 25th 2019 and it's been a hell of a journey so sorry if you keep hearing things going on and off that's my ap so yeah, first I'll start off with the brush set. So if you follow us on Instagram, you've probably already seen these products, but if you don't, I haven't brought it to my YouTube family, so that's why I'm showing you guys here. So this is how our brush set looks. We did get our name printed on the brush set. These brushes are good for beginners, and if you just like like collecting brushes, and I would say buy it too. But if you're just starting off doing eyeshadow, this is perfect, because when you buy like a big brush set, you never know like what brushes are specifically for your eyes. Because, like, some brush sets become with 20 different brushes, and you never know, like, which is for foundation, which is for powder, which is for highlight. But this brush set is specifically eyeshadow brushes, so it's perfect for, you know, if you buy a palette, you get a brush set. We also, well, you don't get it. This is eight. It's eight dollars. We also have a pink version, so if you want to buy our pink palette, the all that palette, and you want to get matching brushes, you can get this. Too. But, yeah, this is my personal set, so it doesn't matter if I'm touching it. These are the brushes. Our names are also on here as well. These brushes are the exact brushes you need for eyeshadow, like the exact ones. You can also, you if you have other brushes, you can also use other brushes with them as well. But like, you know, these are perfect for doing eyeshadow. So you know how they look. And then I'm really, it's like, I know I should have done an unboxing when I got all these products, but I feel like my YouTube channel is full of unboxing, so I don't want to keep, you know, just posting that because I do like buy stuff very often. So, yeah. But these are our lip glosses. We did get new tubes for fall. So, these are how they look. This one's called Pumpkin Spice. And this one's Brown Sugar. This, that's the gloss I'm wearing right now, actually. So, yeah. Sorry if my wig is looking on top of the so I just put this on. I didn't even feel like styling my hair, to be honest. So, ignore my lace. But, yeah. This one's brown sugar. I did put a little brown pigment in it just so it won't just be, like, glittery. Even though on my lips it just showed up the same way. But I thought it was going to look different. And then we have pumpkin spice. The glitter in this one shows on your lips, like, way more. It's, like, it's a really pretty color. So, we have that. And lastly, in the collection... We do have our palette. This is my personal palette. So if you see like scratches on it, that's why, cause this is mine. Whenever I buy inventory, I always look for the one that's kind of damaged and that's the one I keep for myself. Obviously, cause I'm not gonna send you one that has a scratch on it. So it was two damaged ones. It was one that the sleeve was damaged and then one that the palette had a scratch. So I switched them out of other ones. So the one that had the messed up cover, I took it in the messed up palette and I put them together. So then all the other palettes are in perfect condition. That's what you gotta do. You gotta make sure the ones that you send your customers look great. So that's how the cover looks. It took me a while to design this. Like, I kept trying to find fall flowers, but I didn't want to find. I didn't want my cover to be like leaves because I was like, that's gonna be ugly. So I found this like flower picture, right? and like the colors are just so vibrant. Like, it looks so cute. So then, of course, the palette's called Falling in Love. Well, the collection is called. Falling in Love, the Fall Collection, and it just says the Fall Collection down here. And it says noise at the top. You can take it off. It has a sleeve, of course. And then this is what the colors look like. When I say damaged, I mean this. Like, y'all see that little mark thing right here? 
that's why I, I said it was damaged. It wasn't like physically like broken. It just had like a scratch in it. So that's what I mean when I say damaged. But yeah, here are the colors. I'm mad that I didn't get names printed in them, but then I'm not mad because I'm not good at thinking of color names. Like I had no idea what to name these, so I just left it blank. So yeah, these are how they look. And I will be doing a makeup look. I probably will be recording that video this week as well. Today's Monday. So tomorrow I'm recording packing. I'm trying to put out four videos a month now. Like I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. I need a I need another stream of income. Like my business, my business pays for a lot of stuff, but I'm tired of using my business money for everything. Like I need to have money, other money. Like I don't want all, I mean, my parents pay for things too, but it's like, you know, I'm about to be 20 literally in a couple of months. So it's like, I need to be able to be doing stuff on my own. Like I don't want to always call my dad and ask him for money, even though that's what I do anyways, but still he will be paying my light bill this month. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I want to I want to, I'm an adult, but like I still rely on my parents a lot. And it's like I'm trying not to do that as much because I am getting older and my parents I have other siblings, you know, younger siblings. I'm not I'm not the youngest. I'm not the oldest either. I have an older sister. And I have two younger siblings. And my sister just joined the volleyball team. I'm so proud of her. But that's besides the point. So for my business, guys, I, I'm trying to focus more on my brand and things that I like. Because when I started this business, it was lashes and lip gloss. And lip scrubs you know those were things that i love doing and i didn't really ask my followers what they wanted i just put out the things that i love and those things sold but then you know the whole wholesale craze started and i jumped on the bandwagon and i started doing wholesale i am grateful for every wholesale order i've ever received because that's the reason why i have all this money in the bank like wholesale really blew up my business and allowed me to make so much money like i'm i'm sure that if i would have just been selling regular products i would have reached the amount of money i've reached now but I do believe wholesale put me where I am today. And I'll put a screenshot of how much money I made this whole year. I made $19,400 something dollars. My goal was 20K. Well, my original goal was $5,000 for one year in business when I first started because like I never knew my business was going to blow up. But then it did. So my last goal was 20K. And I'm sad I was like $400 or $500 off. But it's okay. I was really close. So by one year, I made nineteen, almost $20,000 basically. And it's like... Half of that money is from wholesale and the other half is from regular orders. And it's like, I'm grateful that I started doing wholesale because it really did, you know, make me money. Like wholesale is the reason I live in this apartment. Like if I never did wholesale, I would probably still be at home. I would be doing college from my room. But you know, wholesale really made me so much money. But it's like, I don't really enjoy it. Like, don't get me wrong. I love how people come to me and they get their products and love it and they start their business. Don't get me wrong. I love that. But the process of making the wholesale orders, I don't like. Like, I really don't like it anymore. Like, I used, like, in the beginning, I loved it. But after a while, like, it drained me. Like, I genuinely hated making lip gloss after a while. Like, it was so much stress for me. Like, I would have to make thousand, like, my gloss batches were, like, a thousand per every two weeks. Like, it was crazy. Like, in the summer, like, it was, it was insane. So, like, I'm happy that, you know, once I moved here, like, when it was like the end of August, my wholesale orders went down because I did say I was closing wholesale to move, but I think my customers thought I was closing wholesale forever. So like they kind of all disappeared, which I, w I was mad about cause I was like, dang, now I'm losing money. But then I was at peace because I wasn't so stressed. When I tell you guys, I was stressed. Like I had acne. That's how stressed I am. Like my skin's pretty clear now because I'm not as stressed anymore. But before I was like literally breaking my head against the wall. My mom used to come out from work and be making batches of lip scrubs. I used to do lip scrub wholesale, lash wholesale, lip gloss wholesale. Lip scrubs is closed down. I don't make lip scrubs no more. That was my mom's thing. My mom doesn't live with me, so I'm not doing it anymore. I still do lash wholesale. That's on my website. Lip gloss wholesale is on my website. It's just that I don't really get orders for it anymore, which I'm okay with because that's not what I started my brand for. I didn't start my brand to be a wholesaler. I started my brand to be a makeup, a cosmetics brand. We are the glam makeup brand. If you check our Instagram, that's what it says. We're the glam makeup brand. And that's what I want to focus on. So it's like now I'm putting so much into making sure that my products look the best. Making sure my products or people want to buy. Because that's what I started this business for. I started this business to sell cosmetic products. Like not to be a wholesaler. I have nothing against people who do wholesale. If you do wholesale, I applaud you because you are a strong person to do that. Like I can't anymore. Like if I, still, if I get wholesale orders right now, I'm okay with it. But it's like... Once all of my inventory for wholesale sells out, I'm not restocking it. I have buckets of tubes down there. Those two buckets are filled with tubes. I have 
bags of squeeze tubes over here like once all of those things sell out i'm not like i doubt i'm gonna restock wholesale because i am planning to start a second business and my second business is my second it's the second thing that i loved as a child which are phone cases it's not only gonna be phone cases it's more it's more of an accessory business because right now on my regular page noise minks i do sell accessories like bonnets and anklets and stuff like that and all my anklets sold out like everyone loves the anklets everybody loves jewelry the bonnets i only have like three bonnets left like everything for accessories basically sold out but it's like i want my makeup brand to be a makeup brand and when you go on my makeup website you only find cosmetics products like, i don't want there to be anything else but cosmetics you know like how fancy beauty they sell clothes and makeup but when you go on fancybeauty.com you see makeup and when you go to um savage fancy you see clothes you see like how she separated it that's what i'm trying to do so my accessories website and business is going to be a separate business like it might not even be called noyes accessories like i don't even know what i want to call it to be honest i just want it to be different something new like a different side of myself like it's just going to be all the types of accessories and stuff i love and my first love of accessories were phone cases my mom used to have this best friend that we don't talk to anymore but she used to have a phone case obsession. Like she would just order cases every day. And when I was younger, I used to have like thousands of phone cases. Like I had so many cases. I had a case, I, have, I had a different case every day, literally. That's how many phone cases I had. Like it was crazy. So it's like, I want to get back into that. Like I've been on phone, on TikTok, you can find so many hobbies that people do. And there's like, you can literally create your own phone cases. And I've been looking it up. It is, it's expensive, but not really because I have the money for it. So it's like, I'm using Black Friday to buy all the, heavy products like i have to get this new printer i have to get like a heat presser all that stuff and i'm using black friday to buy that because hopefully it'll be on sale for black friday if not cyber monday but you know that's what i'm using those two holidays for to get those inventory and um stuff like that like i'm just i'm excited to you know do another thing that i love because makeup was my first love obviously but phone cases and accessories have always been like another thing for me i don't really wear jewelry like that like i'm not really like a jewelry type of girl but phone cases i do have a lot of phone cases like that's just something i like so it's like now that i have the i can make my own cases it's like i can bring everything i imagine to life literally so it's like i'm so excited to start that business at first i wasn't gonna tell anyone but then i was like you know what maybe that's what my 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 makeup brand wasn't out there because I never told people about it ahead of time. So I'm telling the world about this business because I need everybody to know when we launch. I think the launch is going to be December 1st. Like I need a month, the whole of November to get all my stuff together. Like I need to get everything together. First, I got to finish selling all these makeup products, then start the second business. Like if my, that's another reason why I'm starting the second business because I need a second stream of income. Like I need to be making more money than I'm making now. I need to make, I need my YouTube channel to start making money. Like as you are a young adult, you need to find ways to make money. Like ways that are legal you don't need to be a scammer you don't need to be robbing people to make money like no there's ways to make money that are very legal and you can do it from your house like starting a business you can literally be in your house making money you don't have to go anywhere anyone that knows me knows i don't go outside like i rarely step foot outside the door i go outside to take out my trash that's it like i rarely even go to class like i like to be home so it's like I need to, that's why I need to figure out how to make more money that doesn't require me to get a job. Because yes, I'm finally deciding to buy a car, but it's like, I don't want to be working at Walmart. No, I want to be working in my apartment, doing what I love. Like, applaud to people that do have other types of jobs. Like, that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But there's ways to make money from your house. And I want to be that type of person. I want to be in the house, looking pretty, not sweating, doing fork lifting or something. Like, you know, that's just me. So <clears throat> I'm excited to know that I'm finally turning my business around into what I want it to be and what it should have been. And I should have like, I don't know, like I'm happy I did wholesale, but it's like, it made me not like lip gloss for so long. Like, man, there was a time I literally like dreaded making lip gloss. And I don't know if, if anyone else watches Made by REJ, but she went through that phase too when she stopped selling like lip gloss wholesale and she started making all her um lip gloss come in these jars like i do the jars now too but you know i i rather do this than do like individual lip glosses because that does take forever it's like i gotta focus on myself i have to make my own brand grow like i need to establish noise minks as a brand and not as a wholesaler like that's why i changed everything like I still post wholesale on my page once in a while, but I try to focus more on my products because this is what I need to sell. Like I need my products to sell. Like I'm not I'm not really worried about helping helping other people start their business anymore. Like I need to work on me and grow my brand to where it needs to be. Like I'm so happy for Mocha P Beauty that she found 
what she loves in her brand, which is anime. Like, I'm so happy for her that she found that. So it's like, I need to find, like, what my brand needs to be. Like, I'm not saying my brand needs to be centered around, like, a, a specific thing. But, like, you know, I need to find whatever it is for my brand and do that. So it's like, whatever collection I need to think of. Like, I need time to, like, process all those things. And I can't I can't think of all that stuff if I'm doing wholesale. Like, I just, I just can't. So it's like, once all my wholesale runs out, sells out, that'll be a wrap. Like, that's going to be it, so... There's still quite a few stuff on the website, so you can just look in the wholesale section and you'll see everything that we have left, you know. We have a lot of these jars, so you can like, we have, this, these fuzzy pieces are like, have you ever like took wipes and you wipe something and like the wipe leaves like, like the, the wipe stuff? I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, maybe because I poured alcohol in my wipes. I probably wasn't supposed to do that, but they were out of Lysol wipes, so I made my own. Baby, you just get regular wipes, you get 99% alcohol and you pour the alcohol in the wipes and you just let it sit and it becomes alcohol wipes, duh. But yeah, you can, I have jars of lots of different colors. All the colors that I sell, you can get it in a jar basically. Well, most of the colors. I don't know if I updated it to all the colors, but most of the colors you can get in a jar. This one's hot pink. It's a really cute color. We have the nude colors, we have the clear colors. We have all the colors. So if you need lip gloss in a jar, hit me up it's it's eight ounces you can make like 20 to 35 glasses with that so it goes a long way but yeah i'm happy i finally said everything about my business and i can't wait to see where this after the one year takes me because you know now i'm one year and one day old so i can't wait to see like what my brand grows into so like that's why i'm so excited like i'm so much more focused on it because i know this is going to be great and this is just going to be amazing so i gotta put I gotta put everything into this business if I want it to be successful. Like, you have to focus. It's like you gotta focus on one thing. I don't know. Like, I just feel like my 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 brain is too spread out. Like trying to do everything. It's like I can't I can't do it anymore. So, wholesale is available until it's not. Like whenever all this stuff runs out, it's out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see on my channel. And I'll definitely bring that to you guys. And leave me video suggestions because I am trying to, you know, grow my YouTube channel, but I don't know what to record. I am going to do a Sheen try on haul because over the summer, I bought so much clothes from Sheen thinking that we were going to go to school, but then we didn't. So like all the clothes were just in my closet. And like, this is a jacket I got from Sheen. This is the first time I ever put it on, like literally. So yeah, I'll probably do a try on haul. Then tomorrow I'll do packing orders with me. Then maybe Friday I'll record doing a makeup look with the fall palette. That's it for today. Love you guys. Peace.